Hi, everybody. Welcome to UQ Math 2504 2023, Programming of Simulation, Analysis, and Learning Systems, or short, Programming for Mathematicians. Let me tell you a few things about the course, tell you how to prepare, and tell you what to expect from this course. So this course is designed for students of a mathematics degree, but is also open to other students that match the prerequisites. Um, it is a course that is designed to take you in as somebody that knows a bit of scripting, a bit of coding, a few things about uh, computer programming, and within 13 weeks, within the semester, transform you out of the course as a programming superhuman professional. I'm joking. That's not true. You won't become a uh, programming professional after 13 weeks, but you'll simply learn a whole lot and potentially enough uh, to then continue to pick up things both individually and through other courses. Okay, that's just what it is. So the course has uh, industrial focus, but also focuses on, um, on basic computer science and programming concepts. The teaching staff includes industry professionals, Paul and Andy, and guest lecturers, Anna, Metha, and Megan. Um, they are all working in industry full time. And there is also myself, where I work in industry 50% of the time, 50% of the time I'm at UQ, um, and Paul Verbeck, uh, that has had extensive industry experience in the mathematics computing industry, actually. So uh, us, uh, together with PhD students that are um, tutoring and excellent undergraduate and honors students, uh, I hope that we can give you good support uh, in reaching the goal of coming out of this course with a lot of programming ability. Now, programming ability in what language? We're actually using the Julia language. It is certainly not the world's most popular programming language, but it is a programming language that's both high performance and easy to use in many ways, and is geared towards scientific computing and mathematics. Uh, in fact, Paul, Andy, and myself, each of us uh, use or have had used in the past the Julia language in industry in different ways. So Julia does have a lot of applications. Um, one might say that the world's most popular programming language is actually Python, and we don't touch that language in the course. However, if you have Python experience prior to the course, it might help. It's certainly not a necessary prereq, but it might help. On that note, let me um, just say a word about the programming bootcamp. We do have a bootcamp that is taking place in the weeks prior to the course. Um, and if you can make that bootcamp, and if you match the prerequisites of the bootcamp, which require that you have actually not, um, where is that, that you have not done um, all kinds of courses that are focused on programming per se. Okay, so if you match those prereqs, uh, then that's great. So we'll, within the bootcamp, you'll program a bit in Python, just very basic things in Python. And then when you come to a course like this course, Math 2504, you might find things um, easier. Now, Math 2504 is a demanding course in terms of workload because programming takes time. And there are these uh, five pieces of assessment, only one of which is a quiz. Uh, another piece of assessment They'll probably take quite a lot of time, and I hope that you learn a lot from these assessments, but they're not uh, dangerous in the sense that you're not under the uh, gun uh, with pressure time to complete things. Uh, this year in the course, we are also introducing support practicals in addition to the standard practicals. So those of you that feel that you need um, a bit of more extra support, uh, because you will see that the requirements are quite demanding that we start quickly and we continue quickly and we dive deeply into quite a lot of concepts. Um, so those of you that require this extra support, please just feel free to join the support practical and um, we'll do our best to help you with those. Um, in terms of installation, please uh, install the, um, or it is here, Julia on your laptop or computer. If you uh, have a problem getting with a laptop to the course, uh, especially to the practicals, um, then be in touch with us and we'll see 
uh, what resources we have to help you with. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's it. Probably a lot more to say, but at this point, let me just leave you with the course website, explore it. You might want to just take a little look at the content. The content is pretty much on the court website. Uh, we'll update it a bit for 2023, but the content will be similar to what it was in 2022. Okay. So get a feel for what it's like. Uh, and you can even look at last year's lectures if you are really keen or the year before that in the playlist from last year, etc. But no real need to do that. Take your time, uh, rest before the course, and uh, see you at the start of semester. Bye.